Good evening, everybody. We'll start with men's college basketball. Truman State hosted Missouri S&T. S&T with the first basket of the game. Romain Lucier makes a statement. The Bulldogs battled back. They used the three. Broderick Thomas is pure. The visitors only trailed by two at the half as it was a close game. The Bulldogs wanted to go inside out. They did. Jake Velke would get the three. Truman State scored over 100 points for the second game in a row. The final 101-66. In the women's game, Truman State was trying to win their fifth game in a row over s and Truman State in white. The senior Remy Davenport was dialed in from behind the line. Marta Dirk gives it up. She gets it back inside and would get two points for the visitors. Hey, do you see what I see? Yeah, okay. It's Maddie Tharp. Truman State size was the difference tonight as they won it 77 to 50. Yeah, I, I think um, they knew that we had a little bit of some mismatch troubles uh, for them in, in, in our post position. Um, I thought KJ did a really good job down there early. Thanks, Coach. She'll talk about the big fire alarm tonight at Pershing tomorrow night at 6 and 10. It was another tough start for Iowa against Ohio State. The Buckeyes led by as many as 18 late in the first half. The Hawkeyes went on a 12-0 run in the second half to get back in it, but the Buckeyes ran off 10 straight. They would go on to win it 91-82. Tyler Cook led Iowa with 21. The Hawkeyes head east Saturday to face Maryland. In high school basketball, the Kirksville boys lost to Clark County 70 to 50. Over at the Marceline Tournament, Milan beat Putnam County 72-47. The Wildcats are playing good basketball because it's a total team effort. To their credit, they've worked really hard to get where they're at, and um, they read each other real well. They have a pretty high basketball IQ right now, so I think that that definitely helps. Both will play the basketball teams. will be home tomorrow to face Lynn County. It'll be the Bulldogs' last home game until the 29th of the month. Don't forget, Hoops Highlights, sponsored by Pepsi-Cola. Memphis Bottling Company starts tomorrow at about 10.15. Do yourself a favor and check it out.